Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Yingling Hershey's Chocolate Porter. Four point seven percent chocolate porter. This is the first collaboration Yingling has ever done, and it just so happens to be with Hershey. Oh God, Hershey's. Um, I guess because they're both in Pennsylvania, they're probably yeah, I guess pretty so. close by to each other. We found this at our local bottle shop, Dominion Wine and Beer, which has uh, now become our local haunt because their food is like fantastic and they have all kinds of crazy beers that we can't uh, find anywhere else. So the guy, you know, gave us notice that uh, this was disappeared and he had one 32 ounce crowler left and we were like, well, how is it? And he was like, just talking about it. This is the greatest beer I've ever had. This is so great. It's a yingling, but like, it's great. So you know, of course, we had to take it. This is actually only on draft. Like, it doesn't come in bottles mm -hmm. or cans. Yingling doesn't do that. They just distribute it to bottle shops and bars and things like that. And of course, at their, I guess, flagship brewery. Probably, yeah. Um, so it's kind of difficult to get, but they do have a beer finder if you want to check it out on their website where you can see what bars in the area have it on draft, so. It's well, also limited edition. Yeah, very limited. So, like I think they said they only got, at the shop we went to, they only got like one keg and that was it. Something like that, yeah. There's only, I think they said there was only four distributed in the area. In the whole state, something or, like yeah, that. Yeah, in the state, it was what it was. And we were like, what, why? That's, That's crazy. 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 <laughs> so let's dive into a, a, a sniff test to see how it smells. I'm getting more maltiness than I am chocolatiness. I really get a whole lot of Hershey's chocolate right on the nose. It better be a lot of Hershey's chocolate. They yes. used three versions of Hershey's chocolate. The syrup, the cocoa nibs, and the powder. That's a lot. That's a lot of chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting some serious chocolatey, sweet chocolatey notes, and it, it smells exactly like, what, like, like a Hershey's Kiss. Yeah. It smells exactly like this. I'm not getting like any hop character or anything like that. I mean, it's still a little bit cold, um, but uh, I can't wait to dive in and taste this one. I gotta do it. Let's do it. All right. Cheers. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's so good. Yingling, what is going on right now? Wow. But you so made this? You guys made this? Why aren't you making more of this? This is awesome. Mmm. You know what it smells like on the nose? Like like if you were to open up like the bottle of Hershey's chocolate syrup, that's exactly yeah, what it smells like. That's on what the it nose. kinda tastes like too. Like if you're into that, this is this is like drinking that, but like less syrupy, less condensed. Yeah. But with beer backing it. That's really good. Surprisingly it's not sweet at all. It's not. It's just got that flavor. Mm-hmm. And the aroma. You know what we gotta do? is try it through the physics machine. Let's bust that guy out. Okay, yeah. we'll be right back. Okay, so back with the physics machine. We've got the beer in there. Uh, so remind me real quick how this works. You push it forward. forward. Well, you go ahead and do it first and then I'll, I'll follow Forward and back. Look forward. Oh, right, right, right. Then if you want more head on it. Yeah, do that. Go back. It yeah. smells like milk chocolate. It smells, smells like, like, you know kind of what it smells like is uh, is like, it's like warm, like like chocolate milk. Yeah, I'm just getting yeah. Like Hershey's chocolate milk yeah. when you when you squeeze the syrup yes. in the milk. Yeah, yeah, that's what it smells like. Oh, damn. That like improved. That's it. better. Mm -hmm. That's way better. It's like beers like this where they're so decadent. You kind of want that finishing touch and make it like creamy and smooth. And this physics machine just does it for you. This makes any beer just that much more extra, mm -hmm. you know? Like that much more bougie. At least for a time until the bubbles kind of like settle out. But yeah, we use this thing all the time. It's, it's pretty cool to, to see the little transformations that happen with like IPAs and stuff like that, like hazy IPAs and stuff. Man, that's that's a good beer, guys. Yingling, I'm, I'm duly impressed. Like, I don't like to drink your beer. It's not something that we do in this household. It's not a name that we utter, really. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> if, if you can crank out some more beers like this, 
I mean, I think you got a shot at like commanding a little bit more of that craft beer market. This is really, this is something good. So actually this is a take on their 200 year porter, the 200 yeah. year old porter or whatever, right? Which I've never had before. I've never had that. I know Yingling for their, you know, standard, uh, just lager. Yeah. But I've never really drank anything else they have to offer. Um, I've had their like black and tan, which used to be decent. What happened? I had better beer. Like I said, if they can start making stuff like this, like on a regular consistent basis and distribute it to everybody, like I think they have a good chance of having, you know, a place in the market. For sure. As it stands now, the way I see Yingling is the low rung of craft beer, or not even craft beer, it's just the low rung of beer. Mm -hmm. They're just what you get when you have to go to a party and you need to drink heavily and you need something for cheap. And you don't really care, you're not concerned about the quality or, or the you know, craftiness of it, I guess. Um, it's, it's beer, it's, just, it's American beer. Mm -hmm. I also like how it's still like 4.7%, so you can totally I'm go crushing back this and- The guy was not, was not lying. I thought, I was like, I kept thinking like, ah, uh, you know, he's probably just talking it up like it's something different. Okay, cool, like Hershey's chocolate in a beer, great. But uh, no, this actually really does taste like Hershey's chocolate. Like it, it really does display those characteristics that you'd associate with a Hershey's chocolate. They do say though that it goes well with Hershey's chocolate. So I'm gonna they just do. see how that goes. How should we do this? Should we drink first and then eat a chocolate? Or, sh or should we eat it and then drink the chocolate? I'm gonna eat it and then drink it. Yeah, I think that's... You get your whole mouth saturated in chocolate. Yeah. I'm honestly tasting a lot more of the chocolate than I am the yeah, actual beer and chocolate. I think it cancels out all the Hershey-ness in the chocolate. Yeah, that's weird. No, well, that didn't work too well, but it does taste quite similar either way. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or beer event coverage, be sure to subscribe and click that little bell icon. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. <laughs>